folks, I am Becky with Enduring Finances. Welcome to my channel. Today we are taking a look at my budget breakdown for the month of July and how bad I did as far as trying to save money for my transition of turning the house into a rental house and moving in with my girlfriend. So without further ado, let's jump into the meat and potatoes of my budget and see what happened and let me tell you a little story along the way. So really quickly, let's look at the goals that I set for myself for July and how I did or did not go with them. And then we'll jump into my goals that I set for myself for the month of August. So let's jump into July's goals and looking on how I did overall with uh, may or may not accomplishing them. So the first goal that I set for myself was to save $300 for my transition. Um, in order to save that money, I would have to not dip into my savings uh, to get through the month, which did not happen. So I did not save $300 for the transition. Um, I did want to do a big breakdown cost of the rental analysis that I did as far as doing short term, medium term and long term renting. Um, I did not do that either. Hopefully I'll do that in August. I did go on a birthday camping trip, which was fantastic. And I was able to do fishing um, on my birthday, which is always fun. I did not kill my lawn. I might have destroyed my garden this year because it was super, super hot. Um, I did walk or work out every single day, except for a couple days when I was super, super sick um, right before my triathlon, but we're not gonna count those because if you're sick, you can't really do anything. And then I completed my Olympic triathlon. Woo! -wee. Took me four and a half hours and a couple extra minutes, but I did it. Fantastic. We did pretty good as far as my personal goals, not so much on my financial goals for this month. Um, but let's jump into the goals that I set for myself for August to see if we're going to continue this trend or maybe kick some butt at doing these goals. So the first goal that I have is to do the breakdown cost of my rental as far as short term, mid term and long term choices with that and why I'm going with a mid term to short term rental choice. Um, I'm going to walk or work out every single day. Again, I really like that idea. My girlfriend really likes that idea. Speaking of my girlfriend, I'm going to move in this month. Um, we've kind of adjusted the days a little bit just based off of how um, our schedules are going and how her daughter is handling the transition and her daughter is super excited for me to move in. Um, she's asking why I'm not already there, but we're trying to do it the best way possible for everybody involved, mostly her going to start classes again at Boise State, um, studying sign language and Spanish and taking a little bit more in accounting. I'm going to do my Rover articles that I have been trying to do but have not yet successfully completed. I did my initial post on Rover and then intended to follow up very quickly with the next series of that and I have not done that. So that is my goal for August is to get those at least written and ready to roll out. And then I want to break even with my finances. The last couple of months um, since I quit my part-time job and started this transition, I have not met my financial goals as far as not spending more than I make. Um, so that is my goal for August is to break even with my finances. Fingers crossed that we make it happen because it is going to be an expensive month transitioning from a home to a rental house and all the things that keep popping up with that. Um, but I'm going to do the best that I can, and that's all that I can do, and uh, we'll talk about more of that later on in the video. So without further ado, let's jump into my budget breakdown. Alright, so starting off with my biggest expense, which would be the mortgage on my house. We paid $1,209 exactly. As far as car insurance, it was $62.46. For my trash, we ended up paying $47.82, a little bit higher than what I was expecting with that, but that's just a slight increase that we're seeing. We didn't owe sewer this month, and I did the $9.60 for the internet split, the 85-15% I had between personal and business. Uh, we didn't have water this month, and I paid only $70.40 on electrical, so way below what I thought I was going to have to pay. As far as groceries, let's jump over to my breakdown. We had a very, very small month here. Um, $207.94 total spent on groceries, and a lot of that is because of all the trips that I, we did. Um, so we kind of excluded food tr for the triathlon trip and food for the family trip, and then 
we did weekends away and time at my girlfriend's where we're splitting money as far as groceries and so my grocery was estimated to be about $300 and we spent about $90 less than that so fantastic. As far as eating out, spent $20 on gas station junk and this is just on all the trips that we did and then we did a coffee trip where I spent about $17 bringing in total eating out to about $37. As far as gas, we had a higher month because we did a lot of travel. Um, ended up spending $197 on personal money on gas and expenses with that. We did get a $33.66 business credit from my additional income sources down below. Um, but that was a big month, more than I estimated as far as that, but pretty good considering the fact that we went on a really long trip um, twice, three times, multiple trips, multiple camping trips. Um, as far as health and maintenance, I spent $200 on counseling as fun and other. This is where we get into the more expensive aspects of this for my triathlon trip because I did my first triathlon ever um, Olympic distance. I traveled to Burley, Idaho and did that at the end of July and we ended up, I ended up spending $50.46 on that trip and that's just goodies and all the things that came with it because of the triathlon and all the recommendations that I was seeing and hearing, I decided that I needed to try and buy, well, I wanted to rent a wetsuit. Um, did you know it's really expensive to rent a wetsuit? It was about $30 a day and I wanted to rent it to practice in it and then I needed it for the day before the event, the day of the event, and the day after the event. So that's 30, 60, 90 plus practice ones. So we're looking at $120 just to rent a, tr a wetsuit. Um, my girlfriend and I looked online and I was able to find one that will work for $63.59 and uh, I'm hoping that I can return it after I use it because I'm only going to be using it twice. Um, but that cost me a lot of money and then I blew a tire uh, while training for my triathlon. I was doing a very long bike ride. I was about uh, 12 miles in and out in the middle of nowhere and I blew a tire and I ended up calling my uncle and he picked me up and took me to a repair shop but I needed to get a new tube and all the good stuff and then an actual physical tire for my bike so that came to $75.60 and then my girlfriend and I did a super last minute trip to Washington um, her dad invited us up and paid for flights and so we went and I ended up spending about $27.07 doing that trip with all the milk and cookies and all the things that we got along the way and then I spent $4.76 on some dog treats for Jackson, just keeping him happy. So we ended up spending $223.48 on fun and other expenses with this, which is a lot of money. And then we have another big expense, which is $93 on the family trip. And this happened right after the 4th of July. It was my mother's birthday. The whole family was getting together. So the girlfriend and daughter and I traveled up there, got gas and food and all the things, and then did a one night camping trip on the way back from that. And so we ended up spending $93 from that. And I'm including it in birthdays and holidays because it was technically 4th of July and my mother's birthday. So, I mean, it was a fun trip, but that was expensive as well. So between all of these expensive trips that I did and expensive repairs and things for my triathlon, I ended up spending $2,357.70 on personal expenses, which is still less than what I was estimating because I was way under groceries and I thought I was going to be spending a lot more on health and maintenance, um, but I didn't. So that wraps up my personal expenses. Let's jump into my business expenses. So we can see that we have that 85-15% split with my internet between business and personal. So we paid $50 for business internet use. Um, we didn't have any no security for that. As far as enduring finances, we'll jump over to my breakdown. I spent $38.70 on shipping. And this is me selling goods uh, from my house to people in the public, this is part of my transition of, of turning my house into a rental property. And so I have been selling goods and buying goods and doing a little exchange. So as far as expenses for that, we spent $38.70 on shipping. We'll go over how much we made later on. As far as Holy Smokes Photography, we had a big month for that. 
Um, I ended up paying $63.71 in Etsy fees, $22.09 in Etsy marketing, and then $72.58 in printing, and then an additional $19.29 in shipping. And this is due to orders that came in, and I sold a photography lens and needed to ship that out. Um, but we ended up spending $177.67 on Holy Smokes Photography. And then as far as additional income, we are seeing that $33.66 in gas expenses come out. And that is gas and maintenance coming out at a ratio based off of the average um, gas, average mile per gallon and gas cost of gallon per gas calculated in a different spreadsheet that I don't need to show you. But that brings our total business expenses to $300.03, about $100 more than I was estimating with that. Um, but we did a lot with Holy Smoke Photography and as well as shipping stuff for um, my house. But that wraps up my business expenses. Let's go ahead and jump into the fun part, which is the income of money that I made or did not make this month because we did not make enough. So let's jump into it. We have my VA benefit 2024 fixed rate. We earned $524.31 from that. I spelled self wrong, don't judge me, but I took a small $200 loan from my stock portfolio um, and withdrew that to use that this month because it was a very tight month as far as budget and money and all the things. Um, and part of the reason that it worked out so nicely was one, because I earn dividends regularly. I do a dividend portfolio breakdown every month, so you can check that out. Um, but I had that earnings and then a company that I haven't been invested in actually um, essentially transitioned into a new company and did a merge over and so I was essentially grandfathered into new shares of a different company that I did not want to be invested in and so it was really easy for me to have that transition happen and then sell those shares because I don't want them in my portfolio, they don't produce dividends, it's not a company I'm interested in being invested in. And so between the dividends that I earned and selling those three shares, I was able to pull out an even $200 this month without having any like repercussions whatsoever to my portfolio. Um, my goal is not in August, probably not in September, but by the end of the year, I wanna have that money back in my portfolio. I'm just gonna use it to get through this transition period because it was a very expensive month and I did not earn nearly enough money to get myself through and I'm eating into my emergency fund, which scares the bejesus out of me. So that's why we did that. So $200 plus for my stock portfolio, we will pay that back. Um, and then $500 from other. Moving right into my breakdown, let's jump into Enduring Finances. I earned 12 cents off of website ads, 48 cents off of affiliate marketing, and this is through Amazon. I have not put a lot of effort into this, let's quite be honest with it. I have put a couple of links on my websites, on my videos, and that's about it. And someone saw a link, liked what they saw, and purchased it, and Amazon decided that I earned 48 cents from um, essentially helping them make a sale. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully we can see a small trickle of this come through in the future. And then we get to selling goods where I made $68.39 from selling stuff. Um, we saw with my expenses, we spent more than half of that shipping the products because one of them ended up being, I, I lost money doing a sale actually because the shipping was so expensive because it was such a bulky light item that the shipping was ridiculous and I lost money sipping it to the person who bought it, which is super frustrating. Um, but I learned my lesson, updated other things, and hopefully we won't make that mistake again. We still did see a little bit of money come in from that, so I'm excited about that. Bringing my total enduring finances, house flip stuff to $68.99. As far as Holy Smokes Photography, we made $149.99 off of print sales. Remember we had that printing costs from that. Um, I made 98 cents from stock photos and then I sold an old lens that I do not use anymore for $140.13 and that is after expenses of eBay. Um, so we ended up taking $291.10 off of Holy Smokes Photography. And then as far as additional income, this is where I tried really hard and I just did not get close to what I needed to. 
Um, I ended up earning $40 donating plasma. I did that on the very last day of the month just to get it in there and move forward with it. And then I made $415.25 moving scooters for Lime, which is a decent pull for a month for me. Um, but that brings my additional income to $455.25. And that brings all of my income from my VA benefits, my stock loan, my other stuff during finances, holy smokes photography, and my additional income to $2,039.65. And we can see right off the bat, if we look at my total income, that we are super negative about this. Um, lost about $618.08 this month. Um, and I did dip into my uh, savings and my emergency fund to get through and make sure that I could pay my mortgage and do all the things because we are getting very close to uh, being in the red and I'm not excited about it. Um, but we had some additional expenses come up as far as my triathlon and trips and just a lot of moving pieces this month and so I'm happy that I survived and that we made it. I had a lot of fun and made good memories and celebrated my 32nd birthday. I'm now 32 years old. Woo! Um, but it was an expensive month and not a lot of income coming in because I was training so much so much for the triathlon and doing so many trips that it really made it quite difficult to do all of the things that I needed to do this month. Um, we have little breakdowns here as far as just my personal expenses. We still were way over. And during finances, we were green $30.29. And then Holy Smokes Photography, we made $113.43. But still, we came in in the red this month for a loss of $618. Instead of saving money, it's okay. This is why you save money, so that when things happen, like a massive amount of trips in a short period of time and last minute trips to out of state and flights and all the things that you can cover it and not be super stressed, hopefully in August I can really put my foot down and cruise through the month, make a ton of money with my additional income sources, start school, uh, start renting out my house, and not crash and burn. That is the goal. Um, I will, if I need to, going into August, pull more money from my stock portfolio to assist through this time if I, if I absolutely need to. I would rather do that than go into debt. And we are just super tight in the next couple of months until I hit my rhythm with um, my GI Bill coming through for school because it pays the first of the month after the month. So I won't get paid for my August schooling until September and then my September one will be October 1st. And so that'll be my first poll payment of my GI Bill will be October 1st. So I just have a little bit more of a crunch window than I was hoping for and a lot of expenses that have come down the line. But we survived, we did it. I did my first triathlon. Um, if you wanna follow along my journey, I did start a whole nother different channel to kind of walk people through that because it is a whole different ball game than finances. And I thought some people might enjoy watching me struggle through this journey of trying to do my first triathlon and lose some weight. Um, so I'll link that up above so that you can check that out. But I'm gonna wrap up this video here. We survived July 32 going into this transition and done with my triathlon so woo and i will check in with you next video bye folks